bag but instead of doing a what's in my bag I thought I'd do a what's in your bag because everything you see in this video is actually going to be given away so make sure to stick around till the end of the video so you can see how you can win the giveaway but before we get into the video I want to ask you guys what one of your backpack essentials is seeing as this video is based around all of my backpack essentials I want to know what one of yours is so mine would definitely have to be food I can't live without food that's for sure but comment down below letting me know what one of your backpack essentials is and hopefully guys do enjoy the video if you do make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on a new video every single day this week and without further ado let's get into it so I did want to get you guys the exact same backpack as me and I couldn't get you guys the exact same one but I think I did pretty well this one is mine and this one is yours so I actually couldn't get it in the exact same color as mine but I think I did pretty well it's like this nudie pink color and I think it's gonna look really good with pretty much any outfit that you wear because it's very neutral so I'm excited for you guys to have this I'm not sure about you guys but I've got an obsession with notebooks and they're definitely a backpack essential of mine so I got you guys some notebooks and the first one that I got you is this one from Typo it's got this like really tumblerish print on the front of it and I've actually got a matching one in the background here so we can be twins but I really like these kind of notebooks because they've got the dividers in them so you can like separate them for your subjects I think you can have four subjects per notebook so I think they're really cool and then on top of that it's always handy to have some composition notebooks as well so I got you guys two of those and these ones are actually the cutest ones that I've ever seen I got these from Kmart and they're like printed so this one's got polka dots on it and then this one has like pastel-y patterns on it but composition notebooks are normally pretty ugly and these ones are super cute and then in my backpack I always like to have a book where I can write like my thoughts and stuff like that so I got you guys an actual like diary kind of notebook so this one is really sweet it's like a hard surface one and it says great sunshine on a cloudy day and I did post a photo of this on my Instagram account the other day so if you're not following me feel free to go and follow me on my Instagram account but this is the notebook that I got you guys and obviously this next one is not something that I would actually carry in my backpack actually I don't even own one of these but I couldn't resist when I saw it I got you guys an Instax mini 8 camera I've never had a Polaroid camera but I thought I'd get you guys one so I got you guys this one it is pink and then I got you guys a matching flamingo case this is so cute as I said they're definitely not a backpack essential I just thought one of you guys could take this on like your first day of school and take a bunch of photos with your friends I'm just really excited for you guys if you win this you have to take some photos of your photos for Instagram so I can see I did get you guys a dupe bottle this one is from Typo and it's like got a black background with like colorful palm leaves all over it and I just think it's like super cute and if you know me you know that I am all about staying hydrated so this was like super important I've always got a drink bottle in my backpack and of course if you're going to take a backpack to school you're probably going to have a pencil case inside so I got you guys this one it is from Ruby and it's got this metallic panel on the front and then it's blue everywhere else and if I'm gonna get you guys a pencil case of course I'm gonna fill it up with a bunch of school supplies so I'm gonna show you guys what I got so firstly I got you guys an array of pencils and the first one that I got was some mechanical pencils and I have a weird thing to tell you guys but this one here actually looks like it's been taken out of the packet and the rubber has been used so I'm sorry about that I'm not sure how that happened because it is still fully sealed and perfect condition but somehow that happened and then on top of that I saw these next ones and I was like these are so cute I have to buy them so they're these metallic white and gold ones and they're so nice and they're in a pack of 12 so I pretty much kitted you and your whole group of friends up with pencils for their entire year and I'm not sure if any of you guys are like me leave me a comment down below letting me know if you are but I am someone who likes to color code my work and I'm also someone who likes to do little drawings while I'm in lectures and stuff so I got you guys some colored pencils these are also from Officeworks and they came in this little tube and I just thought it was really cute and they're also all wooden pencils too which I think is nice because they all look the same so I got you guys those and then I just thought if you're going to have pencils then you may as well have some textures as well and these ones are my favorite one they're by Faber Castell I feel like these were everyone's favorite textures but I like it because they all clip together I'm not sure if this happened to anyone else but if I had these textures I generally only had the bad colors because everyone else would steal all the good colors so you guys would probably already know this about me if you've watched my back to school haul but highlighters are essential to me so I got you guys some Sharpie Fluoro XL ones I don't know these are definitely an essential for school and I feel like I've repurchased these all year long so ha ah. so next up I got you this set of pens these are from Kmart and they're just really pretty I thought but Kane and I just got in like a small argument about what color these pens are so comment down below I think they're like a aquary kind of color like a light pastel-y aqua color not sure if that color actually exists but Kane thinks that they're green so comment down below what color are these pens they're green <laughs> no they're not 
it. Another essential for my pencil case is also going to be erasers because I'm always making mistakes. So I got you guys two different types. I got you guys an eraser that has a sharpener on the end because it's super practical. And then I also got you guys a set of novelty erasers. These ones have like watermelons and then they also have eyes. And I feel like the reason why I'm so excited about it is because of the watermelons. If you guys have watched any of my other back to school videos, you would know that I made a watermelon backpack and I also made a watermelon pencil case. So I could not resist when I saw these in typo. And of course, in your backpack, it's really good to have somewhere to put some money. So I got you guys a wallet. It's actually the same wallet that I already have and they're actually card holders because I like to have something that doesn't take up a whole lot of space. So these ones are just from Colette and they just fold out and they're really small and you can put like your ID in there or your student ID. And I just think they're really nice because they're white and they're sparkly. I tend to wear rings all of the time and because I wear rings all the time, they all end up in the bottom of my backpack and for some reason I can never find them, but that's where they generally are. And they're not a backpack essential, but just because I always have them in my backpack, I thought I'd get you guys some. So I already have this set. I have a couple of them on today, but this is the set I got you. It's from Colette. So scissors aren't something that you generally need to have at school just because there's some everywhere, but I got these ones anyway. They're from Typo and these ones are extra cute because they're in the shape of the Eiffel Tower and they're gold. You guys may already know this about me, but in my bag, I normally have an emergency kit because you never know what's going to happen. So the first thing that I've got in my emergency kit is normally a chapstick or a lip balm of some sort. Another thing that is really annoying is when you break a nail in a really painful way and you don't have any nail clippers. So I've got a little pair of nail clippers as well. And now I've started carrying a lint roller in my bag because Kane is afraid of lint and it's kind of worn off onto me. So it's just easier to carry a lint roller than be like picking it off for ages. Tissues are something that you never want to need because you generally only need them for like two reasons. One, you're going to be sick and two, you're going to be sad. And I always hope that never happens to me, but you can always help your friends out as well. So tissues are always a backpack essential. And then of course I've got a hand sanitizer. I feel like most people carry a hand sanitizer, but anyway, I've got one of these and I've never seen colored blue tack before, but when I did, I was like, what? So I got that and then I also got some washi tape and I was like, what the heck? This is glittery and white, oh my gosh. So I got that as well. So that is it for everything that I typically have in my backpack, minus a couple of things, just because I wanted this to be special. But if you do want to enter the giveaway, it's super easy. The giveaway is going to be for my subscribers and there's going to be two different ways to enter. And if you want to enter the giveaway twice, then you can go ahead and do both ways. So the first way to enter is just by following me on Instagram. My handle is at Sarah J Betts. And all you've got to do is repost this image right here with the hashtag Sarah's BTS giveaway. And then the second way to enter is by Twitter. So all you've got to do is follow me on Twitter. My handle is Sarah Betts with a double S at the end of Betts. And all you've got to do is retweet this image. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. And you've just got to use the hashtag Sarah's BTS giveaway. So don't forget, you can enter twice if you want to. The giveaway is going to be open until August 22nd and it's going to be international. So no matter where you're from, you can enter. And if that was confusing, then just click down in the description and read down there below. I'll leave all the information. So good luck to everyone that enters. I hope you guys do. I'm super excited about this giveaway. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what your backpack essentials are. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel because don't forget I'm going to be posting every single day this week. And until tomorrow, I hope you guys have a really good day and I'll see you later. Bye!